Hi and welcome on this new video on PyRevit MEP. Uh, many people are struggling to install PyRevit and PyRevit MEP uh, with the automatic method, which should be standard, but uh, on many PCs it doesn't work for some issues like firewall, etc., or uh, some uh, company policy. So I will show you how to quickly install it on your computer. If you check uh, PyRevit Net MEP page on my blog or on the repo page, you'll see some uh, instruction to install it. So you see here prerequisites PyRevit, but uh, we will install it the same way. If you want to know more about it and uh, understand better how Git works, etc., in this context, I highly recommend you to watch SM's video on PyRevit's channel, which shows uh, how to manually install PyRevit and explain more about Git. So, here we can follow the link about Git SM, or you can Google it if you want. It will download for a while. When download is completed, you can launch it. You can press next uh, until the end. There is nothing really to check. Uh, default options are good, except if you really want to go further with it. You can then just press finish, go to the PyRevit repo page and click here on clone. You can copy the link I uh, used to create uh, a folder for PyRevit and uh, inside uh, a Revit dedicated uh, folder so, um, when you are inside it, you can right click on, with your mouse and say git bash here. It will launch a command line prompt. You can type git clone and then paste the address. It will start cloning the PyRevit repo. It will take a while, so uh, just do something else during this time. Download is now complete. As you can see in your folder, you have PyRevit installed. But yet, if you launch Revit, you don't have any PyRevit tab. If you want to have a PyRevit tab, you need to go in the Release folder and click here on Install Addin.bat. So here we have uh, PyRevit already. I cheated some way uh, because uh, PyRevit MEP is already in my config file. But I will just remove it for a while. So now I have only PyRevit and not PyRevit MEP. So I'll go back on this page. So PyRevit is installed now, so we can install PyRevit MEP extension. You can copy the git clone command here and go to your command prompt and just paste it. And we are done. So if you check now in your uh, PyRevit folder, you have PyRevit 
and here the folder for Parvivit MEP dot extension. The dot extension is really important. This is how Parvivit recognizes it as an extension. So this is how I uh, fully typed the Pyrevit MEP extension at the end. As you can see, even if I reload, I don't have yet Pyrevit MEP. I need to go to Settings and add a folder with. Uh, pointing to the folder we created before. Now we can save settings and reload. We just have uh, an error here. Uh, we will need to correct it, but uh, it's just a script which don't have any uh, script file inside it. It's not very important. But here you have all the tools all the release tools, at least. Uh, we are done. If you need to update Pirate, you go the same way. You go inside your folder. Uh, for example, if you want to update Pirate, you go here. You right click. You, you click on Git Bash here. And you type git pull. It says that it is already up to date, but uh, if it wasn't, it would have updated. Same for PyRevit MEP. Already up to date. Okay, enjoy.